Good morning, YouTubers. Came to my attention last night that uh, one of my subscribers wants me to do more videos. Kind of been lacking in that department, apparently, for at least a year. He knows more about me than I do. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, he's a family member. But uh, he wants me to use a talent that I don't think I have. Um, which is make videos of the shit that I do. Which I don't find that I do very well. <clears throat> but anyway, good morning YouTubers. Uh, I call you YouTubers because can't call you anything else. In fear that I... <laughs> there may be repercussions. I can't call you things, can't call you people, can't call you your genders. So I'll just call you two YouTubers. Uh, I'm standing in one of one of many of my projects that I could possibly do videos on if uh, so choose. Uh, it's my 2004 camper that I've got. Uh, Columbia, I believe is what they call it. Um, I've really done quite a bit of work in here. I do little snippets on Facebook and Instagram that is so not safe for this little channel. Um, but, like I said, if you want, I can uh, do videos on it. So far, like I said, I've done quite a bit of work already since I've had this thing for, I would guess, about the year that I have been off YouTube. So, a little tour of this place is, we've got the bedroom, which, as you can see, roof still leaks, which was one of the ceiling features to this trailer. That whole nose has been replaced. I missed a spot, and it's over on that side. And, yeah, it still leaks. So there's, actually, uh, a bucket. To catch the water that does come out of it. <laughs> yeah. Not happy about that. But that's why I bought this thing. Uh, we've got... Uh, let's see if we can get some lights on here. Yeah, close enough. We've got electrical. One cabinet. This used to be a vanity sink. The whole shebang. Then we've got oh, the Biffy, which doesn't work. There's no water to it. So it's just basically a toilet that doesn't have water. And for my needs, I don't need it anyway. Um, so it's the last thing on my list to repair. And it'll probably be still the last thing on the list this year. I have done new switch panel. It used to only have, I think, three switches that did this compartment where, yeah, yeah, the outside light, this room, and the slide-in, I think, is the only three switches that were there. Now, as you can see, there's a shitload more here. There's three batteries on board. There's one for the legs and two for the house. And I can use all three if I really want to. Um... There's an amplifier stuffed in behind that massive TV now. This, I haven't got to use. I've just basically turned it on to see if it works. And mounted it. Used to be a 32 inch. That's going into another project that I've given my brother this year. <laughs> for Christmas. That I, I've only peered my head in. And I don't know what kind of can of worms I'm going to get into. But that I, it's not on this land yet. I've still got to go see that. Apparently the roof on that leaks too. So for that one, it's going to get TV, radio, yada, yada, yada. Basically the same shit, different pile. But yeah, it's got an amplifier to run a sub. And it runs off of that, that stereo. So it runs speakers here and in the bedroom. And later on, I've got another 
channel still left in there that's I've got the speakers for. Haven't put them in. That's for when it's really warm. And it's not warm in here today. It is oh, plus one, but I'm still cold. But that's for another warmer day. But yeah, this cabinet. Uh, oh, ah, damn it. Break it before I get to use it. That cabinet was built by me. The piece now that's behind the stereo was built by me. And all this wood has been salvaged from work and stained and put in by me. It's going to get more up here, all the way over to here, and down there. And we're going to go and put it in up there as well. Um, it looks like an old library in here. I actually like this look. I don't like the, the whiteness of what it was before. And I put some particle board looking shit in here before and all it did was kind of swell up with what little moisture was in here and it bowed and I didn't like that not to mention that's what's up there right now right there yeah and it's already bowing and it was doing that before the roof started leaking again and sagged and I woke up to kind of this diaper looking thing on my face uh wasn't happening until I poked it and then released all the schmoo. Um, but yeah, that's one of the projects. Um, I have quite a few more out in the backyard. Uh, I guess, like I said, if you guys want me to, I will do it. I've got an SGI salvage car out the back. I picked up for a thousand bucks. It took a slight hit to the front end. Again, I've done quite a bit of work to it. Um, it's uh, got an airbag module issue right now. I don't know if it's the airbag module itself that's not programmed for the particular car that it's going into because I found out there's like the one I'm driving has no upper airbags, and then there's ones that have upper airbags. <laughs> The curtain style ones and the one that's in it has a hard set code in it can't get rid of it and i didn't want to spend the money so i bought another one cheaper and the fellow that i bought it from didn't know whether it came from a car whether it had or had not curtain airbags so i've yet to got to test that i may do that that's actually it's not so bad outside i might be able to throw a battery into that but with the surgery i've just recently had I'm not supposed to pick up a battery. So, I may not do that. I just might just go back inside and rest. But, anyway. Then I've got my truck, Max. I may show you that. <laughs> it's, uh, again, has had a lot of work since I've had it. And within the same year that I've had this trailer. And that other car. More or less, I guess, it stopped when I got all this stuff. Um been kind of trying to keep myself busy trying to get my mind at ease of all the stuff that's happened over the last two years but anyway um but yeah truck has got some work done to it just recently did the clutch pedal in it i could uh show you guys what i've done to it kind of hodgepodge some pieces back together from a dodge a chev and cobbled them together and made it work as if anybody's driven a chev with a standard transmission in it their 04 to whatever model that has this plastic clutch pedal in it knows the pitfalls of it when uh, it gets weak over a certain amount of time mine i actually sent the um, master cylinder for the clutch through the firewall or shot it out the other side and bent the rod and had the drive home. Lucky for me, the, the transmission was low enough I could do it, but I ended up frying a, a battery doing it. Limped it home basically on the starter every time I had to stop at a light, turn it over, and then it would crawl to life. And away we go. Once I got up on the highway, it was fine. 
I was an hour away when this happened. It won't happen again. Um, it's all made out of metal now, made out of two trucks, the assembly of one and the pedal of another, and made it work. I haven't driven it. I basically fixed it, got it to go, moved out of the garage, and put it in there. I have a small little shop called Max Automotives. It's kind of in amongst the shade tree mechanics and shit like this. Um, I've got a car in the garage right now that, again, like I said, I've had surgery and I'm kind of on the, the mend. Um, it needs a timing belt at the moment. And I, again, not allowed to, against doctor's orders, to remove said tire to put said pieces in. And I need to do the valve seals too. And don't want to take the head off. So that, I'm still debating on what I want to do. I've seen videos of people putting strings down uh, the cylinders and basically hydrolocking the engine and pushing up against the, the valves so you can take the valve seats out. Um, I'm thinking maybe pouring water oil down the hole, put the spark plug back in, to the point where it's just starting to come through and then tighten it up and then hydro lock the whole engine basically on that side and then do it because it's on a protege and it's a long way down to that cylinder. And I don't know if I can get all the rope that I need down into that hole to do what I need to do. So I'm kind of hesitant to do it at the moment too. And then I have a flat deck trailer. It's, Basically, the platform of what this trailer used to be, I got screwed on a deal. Big time screwed on a deal. Um, kind of should have seen it coming. Kind of didn't see it coming. It was the dial of it. And then when it happened, your heart sinks when it does. Uh, but yeah, it was supposed to be a Christmas present. For the brother it was 20 well they claimed it was 26 feet or 24 feet yeah they claimed it was 24 feet turns out when I registered it it wasn't even registered for umpteen years and it actually comes out as a 26 footer or I think that's what the been yeah anyway it's a 26 footer and uh, I've cleaned the sh shit off the top of it so basically everything you see here is basically what it had kind of from the 1980s no slides no nothing has was a trailer that was about seven thousand pounds it's what the axles are rated for and all the other stuff so i've cleaned it down to the deck and taken all the shit to the dump uh one of the projects that I want to do is take that and make it into a car carrier. A 20, well, the deck will itself will be about 18 feet. <clears throat> this is what I figured it out to. I've done CAD drawings and want it and got it kind of the way I want to look. And it's going to be 8 feet by 18 feet is the actual deck. It will be enough to house maybe vans and small cars. That's all I want to do because that's all my truck will take for about 12,000 pounds. And at the time, truck is kind of weak in the uh, go department. It has plenty of low-end grunt, but weak in the high-end pull power. Again, another project that's coming down the pipe. I need money for all of this, and I don't have any of lack of it. Uh, unless I win the lottery, it ain't happening anytime soon. This is basically just a an up and coming video. Uh, hopefully, if you guys want, and I get enough thumbs up to actually do it, you guys want to see it, I'll do it. If not, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I want to build out the deck. I got to take it to work because they get a bigger welder than I do. And it will frappe some nice metal. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be eight feet wide, 
and at least 18 feet long. It's 14 foot deck now. And the trailer's actually as long as 18 feet. It's a little short by a few inches. But the bumper comes out to just about 18 inches. It's 206, I think, inches to the rear bumper. And it's stout right out to that point. It's got a nice subframe on it. If it was like this one, where it's C-channel and little hangers off the side, like the walls on this one, down the floor, you can see it kind of sags a little bit. If it was like that, no, I would be throwing the trailer out. Um, right now, the trailer, as it sits, has cost, well, is costing me 50 bucks. I've sold enough parts and pieces and crap off of it to recoup the $400 I get screwed on and the gas and time well I have to throw that aside because I had to kind of go up to see the guy that did the tune for the engine of the truck which apparently I gave him the wrong information and tuned it wrong so it was seriously lacking the engine department now it's woken up a little bit and it's a little bit better towing the turd back home um, but yeah, that's another project. And then I've got, uh, well, a 2013 speed, but that doesn't get any performance upgrades. I'm actually trying to trade that one in for an EV. That is a never ending battle. Uh, many financial things behind that has inhibited me to doing that. Namely what happened two years, well, almost three years ago now three years three years now almost three years now so not here no there i'm not gonna bad mouth them any more than i can um but yeah that's the nutshell of it so i'm going to basically show you the fleet that i have in the back here uh, bear with me it's a long walk from where i'm standing it's basically i'm in my front yard right now through that window, well, you can't see it. I've got another part of my yard. Um, and, well, it's a bit of a walk today. Uh, oh, and I have a an ATV. Smokes like a bugger, too. Neighbor thinks my house is on fire every time I start it up. I think it needs rings. Not too sure if that one's salvageable or not. It's a Honda, and it's a Fortrax, and they're damn near bulletproof. Well, I should say they're bulletproof. Drove the shit out of it. It knocks like a bugger. I've just put a timing chain into it. The valve, no, the camshaft on the top of it is scored like you wouldn't believe. It lacks in the engine department as well on that one. But it was a fun ride uh, until I swamped it, and now it just smokes like a bugger. So I think the rings are gone in it. Um, it's been sitting three, four years now, and last year I actually started it up, and it started like it shut off yesterday, smoking like a pig, and roars to life. I had to hotwire it. Apparently, when I sold the other half's quad, I sold them the wrong keys. Yeah didn't tell me that never messaged me back that i sold them the wrong keys i found the right keys the other day oops um uh, yeah so i gave them my keys for my unit and kept the wrong keys for my unit whoops oh well ah, shit happens i guess um, so yeah, when I went to go start it, I had the hot wire because I couldn't find the keys at any of that day. So, meh, whatever. Well, let's, uh, go see the back end then. So, there's the one for the timing belt and valve seals. This one smokes pretty good. Uh, I've really done quite a bit of work to it. Basically looked it over. Did brakes, or I haven't done brakes yet. Um, valve cover seal, uh, done that 
and then I found out that the timing belt is in not necessarily major needs for repair, but it's got the cracks on it and it's weather worn basically looks like. So it's advisable. So the customer wants me to put one in, but there's also valve seals that came in from the last owner of this. They bought it for 300 bucks. They want me to put it in. Um, but yeah, so old three protege, nice little car. I would drive it. Typical rust of the protege. Uh, so yeah, and then we've got oh, my fleet, Max, my donor. Uh, another one that's got a blown transmission in it. Well, not blown, but it has issues with the transmission. And then, yeah, this one is my daily. Um, used to be a V6, turned into a four-cylinder and running. That one there, actually, this one, yeah, this one here gives me the parts. Uh, and then, yeah, flat deck from hell. And yeah, like I said, it's just about 18 feet. So, if you want to see them, I'll do them. Um, yeah. Happy days, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, salive.